All right. Long run, long run. What shoes am I taking out today? I'm going to take out the Pegasus. Nope, not feeling those ones today. Ah, Saucony. The guides today? Mm, nope. I'm not going to take the guides out today. How about New Balance? Super light shoe. Ah, no, no. Not feeling the New Balance today. Decisions, decisions, decisions. What am I going to take on my run today? Ah, I know what I'm going to take. The shoe that finally came. Next percent, two. They came. Unbelievable. The shoes finally showed up at the houses last week. The elusive Nike Next Percent twos. I've been waiting for these things for about almost a month to show up. I was on the waiting list. It was really hard to get these shoes. Everything was sold out and then I kept clicking and then I finally got them. Boy, I tell you, these things were worth the wait. Uh, 15.8 six kilometers uh, taking these bad boys out on a first run setting myself a 10k PR and a 15k PR in the process and I tell you I don't know if it was just the extra confidence because I had these things on my feet but I felt like the power today when I was out there running finally breaking through that 15k wall that I was fighting with myself in my long runs I, I get to that 15k point and I was just kind of powering out I know a lot of it's been the hard work. I'm doing a lot more strength training into my routines now. And I think it's finally paying off. And, and, I, and I hit that 15K today and I just kept going. And I said, huh, this is interesting. It's a lot different than what it was uh, a few weeks ago when I, tried, when I was doing my lawn run. So practice, practice, practice is all I got to say to everyone. And, you know, you keep going and you'll see the results. And, uh, and you know, I, 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 I got to say, Let's go over the shoe. There's a lot going on with this shoe, so I want to give this shoe its due justice. Uh, so let's dive in. So this is a neutral road racing shoe, meant basically for the uh, marathon and half marathon distance running. You probably could take this on a five or 10K uh, race, but there's some other shoes I think that would accomplish that task for you and saving yourself the kilometers on this thing especially because of the, the price point. We're talking about the prices a little bit later on, so you want these things to last. Um, so that, uh, for instance, I'm a stability runner. I picked up the New Balance Prisms, and those are a great sort of 5, 10K effort uh, shoe that's also very lightweight. And these things, let's, let's get into it. So it's got a 40 millimeter in the heel. It's got a 32 millimeter in the forefoot with an eight millimeter heel to toe drop. These things are so lightweight that when it came in the FedEx box, the box weighed more than the shoe. I mean, I, I, was, I, I was like, I, is there actually anything in here? Like it was incredible when I, when I actually put these things out of the box and I, and I held them for the first time. I was like, holy cow. When you get this shoe and you unbox it, you're gonna look at it and say, you know what? This shoe's got nothing going on for it. It's not gonna hold my foot when I'm out running. Far from the case. So with this shoe, it's got the ability, it's, it kind of cinches your foot when you're running. Um, and that's what was happening with me when I was when I started my run. I was, I was out there and I and got into about a kilometer or two in my run. And this thing just kind of moves my foot. 
And I was like, oh, this is interesting. What's going on here? And that's, that's what the, the, the vapor flies are designed to do. They're designed to kind of form around your foot. And, and there's a few factors involved with that. We'll go over that. That's helping achieve that goal. The heel counter in the, sh in the shoe uh, really kind of cinches in when you're out there running. It's got a really good heel counter. I felt very, very comfortable with this heel counter when I, when I was out there. Um, the lace system, it's got these kind of grooves in the laces and that actually helps as well uh, as far as cinching your in when you're out there running. Uh, the mesh, it's got this engineered upper mesh which is super breathable. It was around 18, 19 degrees, so starting to get a little bit toasty in the morning when you're out there running. And I didn't feel any sweat spots at all when I was running in this shoe. I felt very, very comfortable in this shoe running. Uh, it's got a redesigned toe box. I, I never had the first pair of, of, of the vapor flies. Again, it's because last year there was no races going on. So why go out and spend yourself a, you know, a, a pair of 300 some odd dollars for a pair of shoes when you can actually, um, you know, when there's no, nothing happening. So I got nothing really compared to it in my lineup, but it had, it had a nice wide toe box and I really felt that when I was out there running as well that it, you know my feet felt very very comfortable in them. Let's jump to the midsole of the shoe. So the midsole of the shoe has got a really nice Zoom X midsole and it is a carbon fiber plated shoe so it's got a really nice carbon fiber plate that runs throughout the shoe which is great. Um, the outsole of the shoe, let's go on to the outsole. Now it does have quite a bit of rubber on the outsole and there's, there's a reason for that. So when you're running, it, it helps you with that forward momentum. I'm a heel striker normally, and as I mentioned before, I prone it kind of in and out. When I was running in the vapor flies, I found the shoe wanted me to go forward. And that's what you want. You want that forward momentum. And that's what these things are designed to do. Um, with the stack height too, you know, there, there have been a lot of controversies with the Nikes and, and, the, and the vapor flies. You can't use them for track and field running um they're illegal on the track and field you can use them for road racing so if you're looking for a track and field shoe this is not for you uh it's meant for marathon and half marathon distance as i met, mentioned before the price so i pay for this shoe uh 330 dollars canadian now you're going to say whoa that's a little steep for a, for a road shoe but i tell you when you're buying tires for your car, you're not going to skimp out on tires for your, you know, especially winter tires. You want the best that you can get to give you that, that security. You get what you pay for with these bad boys. I, I found that they actually really held up well. I think I'm probably going to get about 400 kilometers on, on this shoe. So worth the money? Absolutely. Um, I'm giving this one a four and a half out of five laces, I think, um, and I do the lace system. So one's like a, don't buy it, terrible shoe. Anything over about a three is kind of look at the shoe and a four and a half is if you want it, go get it. Um, Cause I tell you it's worth, worth it. Next week, we're gonna kind of do a deep dive into what the training looks like. I wanna kind of dissect the week. I know I've had a few comments saying, hey Ryan, we've noticed that you've had a lot of really kind of uh, improve times on your on your training how are you accomplishing that task so i think next week we're going to do a deep dive into what a snapshot of the week and what a week's training looks like super excited for that it's going to be a great week here in my area let's check the weather forecast it's going to be sunny all week and i hope it's the same in your area i hope you guys get outside do something for yourselves get outside catch you guys next time on the vlog keep running